Hi, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Lunch and Life with Sharon and Robin Choi. November! November! Can you believe it? I can't. I can't. I do have to say, though, I'm really enjoying the weather here in the Northeast. Like, I'm, I'm ready for that change. A lot of people think I'm crazy, but I, I'm ready for the cooler temperatures. It's cool today. It's beautiful, though. It's nice and sunny. It's got crisp air. Yeah, you know, absolutely. Nice. Absolutely. And this month that we want to share with everyone, it's Thanksgiving. It's a month of new beginnings of joy. I think it's new beginnings anyway, because it's a new month. I think it is. I think it is. I think it's a time to sort of kind of stop and breathe and reflect and look ahead and, you know, where you've been, where you are, what do you want? You know, last year we couldn't really get together, you know, outside of, I guess, the inner circles. Um, so it's just a time to be really grateful, I think, you know? Yeah, absolutely. And so this month we want to, this week, talk to you about the gratitude. Next week, we're going to really go into breathing and how to use breathing to get you through the holidays and the rest of the year. And then the third week, we're going to do some recipes, some cooking in the kitchen, and then we'll be off for Thanksgiving. Yeah, we're taking Thanksgiving off just like you all are. So. Yes. Yes, to enjoy with family. I'm actually very excited. My kids are all coming into town. It'll just be really nice for all of us nice. to get together for Thanksgiving. Nice. What are you doing this year? My kids are coming in too. So um, everyone will be together. We're going to go visit family for Thanksgiving itself. And then we will we'll, up in Pennsylvania, we'll come back down to Virginia and we'll all get into some sort of trouble, which we usually do as a group and uh, have some fun. It'll be nice. We'll all be together. And now that everyone's spreading out across the country, um, it'll be nice. Yeah, absolutely. And it's also time, like we think about this, right? We're all like, my kids are out on the West Coast. Your kids are in Texas and going to the West Coast. And going to the West Coast. Right? So we're spread out and just this gratitude of getting together, the gratitude every day, like you've just, you know, I, I, and it's funny, I'm actually interrupting my thought because I'm thinking about how you always, and we bring this in, you know, to our episodes every now and then, how do you want your day to go? Like, right. How do you want to start your day? Mm -hmm. And I think that this is a good way, like to, for you to share that, to start talking about the gratitude. Yeah. So as we've talked before, it's, you know, if, if there's anything you do to start your day, right? If, if you don't know how to journal, you don't think you know how to journal or you just don't take the time, ask the two questions. One is how do I wanna to feel today? And what do I need to have happen for me today? Two questions, two answers. And I think it really, it sets up to that self-care and to focus in on you and how you're gonna show up. And, you know, getting back to gratitude, I find myself being so present and conscious right now. Um, really, I think since COVID more than ever, uh, just being so grateful for where I'm at in life, where my kids are, their ages, my youngest turns 25 next week. And so it's 25, 27, turning 30 then, the oldest. Um, and just being like, so thankful, they're healthy, they're happy seem to be enjoying life, you know, doing their thing. And just to be present and watch that, you know, watch your kids really adult. Um, there's a lot to be grateful for, you know, even with the chaos. I'm living in Virginia, so election day is, you should be around here, it's insane. It's like we're on national news over, you know, who's gonna get elected, but- um, Same who here. Knows who's, who knows who's gonna get elected, but uh, <laughs> who knows? But it's just, um, it's just to stop and pause and just just be thankful that, you know, if the sun is shining and you can go outside for a walk and um, you can pick up a phone and call a friend or look at your friend right now, so. You know, and, and what's important about that and that awareness is we're, we're the anxiety levels, right? They just keep increasing and mm -hmm. um, it, it's, it's not going away. And the more that we can wake up asking ourselves those questions and being in that state of gratitude, the more that we can 
appreciate, the more that we appreciate, appreciates, right? So everything that we're so appreciative of mm -hmm. starts to appreciate. And between that and the gratitude, even the simple things, even if you know you're having a lousy day, just being thankful for your health, being thankful, you know, for your mobility, for the roof over your head. These things with breathing, which we'll talk about next week, will really help to decrease anxiety. And you know, being thankful for what we can control and letting go of the rest, like releasing it. Good point. Yeah, what we can't control, we can't control. So even if it's a lousy day, be grateful that the day is going to end and be grateful that you're going to be able to get up to a new day. Yeah. And if, if that's all you got, that's all you got for that day. You know? And when you can sit in gratitude, being present, your body can't be present and be in gratitude and be anxious at the same time. Because when you're anxious, your mind is projecting into the future of all this unknown and the what ifs. So the True. more that we practice that, right, the more mm -hmm. we can really ground ourselves. Yeah, because it does make you be present and makes you think about the here and the now. And so that's what you can control is that here and that now and not go racing as to what am I going to do or what if this happens or what if that happens. It's, it's just, it takes energy away and it just takes time away, you know, time is so precious so you know enjoy just just try and find enjoyment in every day yeah absolutely even when i walk in the morning i always make sure to get out and take a walk whether it's three miles five miles depending on how much time i have and i'm just with me and my thoughts and i don't even listen to me i don't listen to anything i'm just listening to nature the trees blowing in the air, you know, like the wind blowing through the trees, the, the birds, you know, the chatter, the, the tires spinning on the bicycles going by. Just that awareness is amazing, like of how grounding it can be. And yesterday morning, actually, I went to the park and I'm going through the ramble and I come to an opening uh, where part of the, um, the not the, the lower reservoir where they have the boathouse and there's a rock with a few geese and all these turtles and the turtles are like craning their necks upwards and it was just one of those like because I was so present I noticed it yeah and then to just I just sat there and just stared at it <laughs> just being present and grounded and it's mm -hmm. amazing because you really when you're that way you there, there's nothing else to think of yeah, no, it, it's, it's great. You know, I, I had told you and I'll tell everyone else. So I had seen the Van Gogh immersion, immersive exhibit, which if it's in your city, I highly recommend you go see it. It's just yes. an amazing experience. Um, just to put your phone away, you know, you want to sit there and you want a video and, and I did take a few pictures, I'll be honest, and I probably will post them, but uh, but then just to put it away and just to just soak it in and just watch. And there was this little boy following part of the exhibit and the changing of the colors. And it's so amazing sometimes, like put the phones down, take off, take the headphones out. Um, you don't always have to have the outside noise feeding in. Right, absolutely. Yeah. So we'll start the month off with our gratitude being in appreciation and I'm in appreciation of you <laughs> for you, Sharon. <laughs> and I appreciate you as well. And on that note, <laughs> totally gonna, all right, I have to cut that. <laughs> I just like, <laughs> I was just like, <laughs> oh my god seriously like all right we've got all these bloopers Bloop. okay <laughs> and on that note uh, uh I, we, I don't even remember where we were ended off <laughs> well to beginning november and the holiday season rolling in with gratitude okay do you want to take it from here <laughs> Uh, sure. <laughs> to appreciating and 
welcoming in November with gratitude and just starting to enjoy and paying attention. Just pay attention and be thankful. There's something, there's at least one thing to be thankful for every day. So every single day. And if you can bookmark your day, book and your day, morning and evening, because that's mm -hmm. a nice way to go to sleep before, you know, before bed is to sit with that appreciation, let it settle into your body so that you can sleep well that night. Yeah, I agree. And on that note, always lovely unpacking lunch and life with you, Robin. Likewise, I appreciate you. And we'll see everybody next week where we'll do some breathing exercises to help reduce anxiety and continue with the gratitude for November. Sounds good. Take care, everyone.